you know, the experiments, you know, any excuse for you to play with something completely random. Yeah. And the other thing is, is to be honest, these are things I've literally dreamt about. I've got good news and bad news. Right, give me good news. Good news is, I think we can do it. Bad news? I reckon we need at least 8,000 litres of air. Yeah. So that's pretty much the same amount of air that's in this room that has to be squeezed into something we can fit on the bike. Right, how are you going to do that? Very high pressure. Diving bottles, they're kept at 300 bar, so that's like 300 times atmospheric pressure. That's dodgy, isn't it? That is the same pressure that you get three kilometres below the sea. But you think about the tyres on this truck, they're what about two atmospheres, yeah, yeah. so it's like 150 times higher pressure than the tyres on our truck. Yeah, but what actually happens if you have a problem with that? Remember, I, safety was one I of our things here. In all honesty, Dick, I cannot even picture it. Because the air must be stored at such high pressures, Dick and Gemma are worried that recreational scuba tanks may not be safe to put on the air bike. To find out more, they decide to simulate what might happen in a road traffic accident by puncturing a gas bottle. Using a full-size scuba tank would be far too risky, so they're using a much smaller gas bottle with lower pressure. They're building a contraption from a pair of giant bolt cutters, which can be triggered to snip the end off at a safe distance. When they tug on the rope trigger, the heavy buckets of sand on the end of the extended levers will pull the arms of the bolt cutter together, slicing through the top of the gas bottle. This is like mouse trap. <laughs> this has got to make that fall, they come together, and off goes the bottle. Yeah. I'll put your helmet on before you do this. I think we're at that sort of stage, aren't we? Yes. We have to walk in a brisk manner over to those rocks to hide before we pull the string, all right? Yeah. That does not mean run. OK. Time for them to release the safety catch and prime the trigger. Jem and Dick have no idea which way the bottle will fly, so it seems wise to beat a tactical retreat. I don't reckon the bottle will reach the sea. I couldn't be more intrigued. Do you know what? We just got right now. I really couldn't. Me. OK. Right. I take it you want the honour of doing it? Yes. Well, that's the Dick, I do. But I'm Start. pretty curious. Oh. I got full. Here we go. Is the runner happy? OK. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when the bolt cutter snipped the bottle, it shoots off uncontrollably. It's an uncomfortable display of the potential danger of compressed gas. 